Okay, so what you need are the supplies that I've laid out here. So you've got pre-cut tissue paper, scissors, everyone will need scissors, and wire. This has all been pre-cut for you. So you've got five pieces of tissue, and the one that has four tissue pages, that's going to be the main color of your flower, and then the top sheet is going to be the inside of the flower. So you want to start with the top sheet. So in this case, I'm making a white flower with a yellow center, okay? And what you want to do is make it into a fan, kind of on the small side, you know, maybe half inch um, or even smaller than that, however small you can go. But um, you're going to be dealing with people whose hands might cramp up, so just make it easy on them. Um, and you just keep going with the fan, making it as tight and the lines as crisp as possible. So you just keep going. You want to make sure you start with a nice clean surface. I got a little dirt on here because I forgot to clean this, but that's okay because this is just our example. And it doesn't matter if things don't line up exactly. So like for instance on this one I've got a little bit of extra, just fold it over. So now you've got your fan. Okay, you're going to hold it like this and you're going to round out the edges and try to get rid of any, um, you know, like if you've got pa papers that don't quite match up at the ends, try to cut that out. And you want to make a nice rounded corner like that. Okay, now I'm going to take your wire, bend it in half. You want to put this part of the wire in the middle with make sure that you're using this the the, the I'm sorry I got it backwards you want to make sure that you're putting that on the main color of your flower so in this case my flower is going to be white so you want to make sure it's on the white part and then twist it around make sure it's in the middle and twist it around like that so now that's going to hold your flower together and then do one or two twists to hold it steady okay now you want to start with the inside part of your flower. Fan it out like this and very carefully because this will tear. Now if you get little tears it's going to get hidden but you want to pull it back like this very gently but at the same time a little firmer because you want to make sure you're pulling it out as far as you can but you don't want to tear it. So now you're going to go on the other side and if you can see now this, if you can visualize it, this is the inside of your flower. That's why you always want to start, if you didn't, that would be end up your outside, okay? Now you want to start doing the same thing on all of the layers. Just start pulling it all the way around. And see, this is the hard part to make sure you're only doing one layer at a time it can get a little weird. Um, I wish I still had some of that stuff that I had when I was a bank teller to help uh, really separate, you know, keep your fingers um, moist for when I used to use it to count money, but I don't have that stuff anymore. And I've only got two layers left. So there we go. I got one layer that I'm pulling down, one layer that I'm pulling up. Okay, and now you just take that bottom layer and you fluff it up like that. Try to, you know, straighten it out as much as possible. And now look at your flower and do any corrections that you want to do. Like I want to pull this in so it's all inside. I also kind of like the look of when you find the center and kind of make that stand out a little bit. But now I've got my flower all done. I hope you have a great time.